Just yesterday we finished construction on our protective relay demonstration unit. You can see the mess on the table here left over from constructing it. Just got it wrapped up yesterday and did some initial tests and so far everything looks okay. The purpose of this unit is to demonstrate the operation of overcurrent protective relays. We've got a pair of these here, old General Electric Electromechanical Relays, model IAC. We also have a new Schweitzer uh, model 501 digital overcurrent relay, which works on the same system. We don't have any large circuit breakers to trip, and so what we do in this particular system is we have small circuit breakers. We have uh, built-in trip coils, so they are electronically trippable. And when a contact closes on the protective relay, sends DC power to the breaker to cause it to trip. This breaker doesn't uh, have a current carrying capacity large enough to handle the type of loads we expect, and so we're using the, these breakers to drive contactors, <coughs> which actually conduct the load power. So if I turn one of these breakers on, you can hear the contactor clunk. I'll get in closer so you can see it move. So that contactor is going to handle the load current. We're going to measure the load current of the current transformers up here. And then if the protective relays detect an overcurrent condition, they'll send a trip signal down to this relatively small circuit breaker, which will then trip and de-energize the contactor. So this part of the system right here is not realistic for a substation or for a power generating station. Normally, the trip signal from the relay would go directly to the large circuit breaker. But I don't have a large circuit breaker, so this is what we're doing. So anyway, uh, the idea being is we can demonstrate how these relays work, how we calibrate them, how we coordinate them. I'm going to be making sure later on that the electromechanical relays and the digital relays have similar uh, programmed constants, so they trip uh, under the same parameters. And we'll be able to demonstrate that for students. They can see the old technology, electromechanical, right next to the new technology, digital, side by side to see how they work and how they perform the same function, yet doing that differently. We also have uh, another CT. I'm using two CTs right now, one for this relay, one for this relay here. We have a third CT, which is uncommitted as of yet. We could later on connect it to another relay like this. We could install a different brand of relay, maybe a Bassler relay or a Westinghouse, and demonstrate how that works as well. Whatever we decide to do, it's going to be an interesting test bed to demonstrate the operation of protective relays. And we're looking forward to lots of learning with this new unit.